What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Yarn Dungeon. It is a brand new month, which means we have a brand new square to add on to our year-long crochet along blanket. Oh, that's the wrong side. Or not like technically the wrong side, because this stitch really you could do either side. Yeah, you totally could. But there we go. Nice little close-up of this month's stitch, which is the wide half double crochet stitch. I am a super fan of a half double crochet stitch because you can use it for so many different things. Not only can it make an amazing piece of fabric for totes, bags, home decor, stuff like that, but also wearables. Half double crochet is my go-to when it comes to cardigans. Like if I have no idea what I want to use for a cardigan, but I have the yarn, I have the idea of like what I want it to look like, I always go back to a half double crochet. This one, however, is a little bit different and it adds a little pizzazz to it. So this is a sample that I just worked up this morning as I did the tutorial for the stitch. You can see that it has really amazing drape, but there's not like huge giant spaces in between each stitch. Things that need structure, it's gonna hold up for that too. So the tutorial is out today for the stitch. You can go ahead and check it down below. Get started today if you want to. Personally, I think that this one works up really, really quickly. Not only is it a one row repeat, but it's a half double crochet, like a little slight variation of that. I find that I can work this up way quicker than any of the squares that we have in this entire blanket, of which we are officially halfway through. So if you're still here with me making this blanket, cheers, hats off to that, because this it's a long crochet along. We have never done a year long one before. And honestly, I didn't know if I was going to be excited about it. Like it sounds good in January or like really in November, December when we were chatting about it, but a year is a long time to work on a project. So I hope that you're still here and I hope that you're having fun with it and the variety is enough to keep you coming back for every single square. We do have a sticker for the month. So make sure you head to my website and go ahead and download this, either print it out if you've been doing that for every single month or go ahead and click it and save it, you can print all 12 of them at the end. There is a sticker chart too. So if you've been printing them out as you go, make sure you grab that chart, go ahead and put that up as you're finishing the square. That's what I've been doing anyways. Each sticker, I put it up as soon as the square is done because I'm working this up along with you. Like we're doing this together. We're in for the entire year together. We of course have a movie that we're gonna be watching together. And this is really just a nice placeholder for you and for me. If you have kind of forgotten about the square because you know, a month is a long time to work on the square and it's a rather big square, 23 by 23 inches. It's a time for you to come on back for about 90 minutes, crochet and chit chat with the ghoul squad and watch a fun movie. So this is happening on June 22nd, which is a Thursday. Come on back to the Yarn Dungeon, 6 p.m. Central. We are gonna be watching You Might Be the Killer. I could not resist this. Super campy movie, happens at a summer camp, and it's a meta horror movie. All of those things put together. The very first time I watched it, I was like, yes. I love this, this is definitely a staple for me. So when it starts to get a little bit warmer, I have to watch this one just to set the vibes. Even if you're not into this movie, if you watch the trailer, cause I will link it down below and you're like, you know what Kayla, it's just not my thing. That is totally fine, but still come back for the live, come and hang out in the chat, work up on your square, or if your square is already done, because that's almost the end of June. If you're one of those ghouls that's just been flying through your squares and you're done at the first part of the month, still come back, hang out and work on another project. Again, it's just a nice time for you to set aside for you. Those are the events that are gonna be happening for this month's Stitch and Scream crochet along. I really do hope that you enjoy this stitch and I would love to see this stitch out and about more, like on more projects, made into wearables. I do have a couple of projects in mind that I wanna work up. I have a few cardigans that I've used a half double crochet and a single crochet 
to work it up into and I might switch it like just kind of play around with it a little bit because I kind of forgot how much I love this stitch and that's really what this entire project is about either finding new stitches that you've never tried before or refining love for stitches that you've totally forgotten about on a side note I have some yarn that I want to show you my pride yarn from Thornwing crochet just arrived the first tank I couldn't even wait I opened it up and threw it on my swift right away caked it up and started working up with it last night so I am making another granny square like cover-up the way that the colors are laying are making it kind of a kaleidoscope effect so here for all of that so this will be finished tonight and what I really wanted to show you is this tiny goat rainbow pride mini hanks I had to show you it before I caked it up because they are so freaking adorable this is a number four medium weight yarn. This is my default yarn. Like if I am working up a new project or I'm sitting down to write a new pattern, this is the yarn that I always reach for. I love working with fingering weight, sock weight, DK weight yarn. There really isn't any weight of yarn that I don't enjoy but this is just what I grab and also because I can use a five all the way up to a six millimeter crochet hook which is actually what I might use for this because I was thinking about doing another top. There's 16 yards per hank. So there's seven hanks in here. I had to show the full color. Just vibrant and it's so soft. Again, this is 100% organic cotton. I don't think I'm gonna use this pattern. Like this works really well because of the fact that it is fingering weight yarn. Or who knows, I might be doing something smaller. Maybe I'll do like a headpiece. I was kind of like playing around with that idea last night too, but I didn't know the exact direction that I wanted to go. So that's why they are still in Hanks. Because honestly, I would have worked this up first. Like these are just so freaking cute and I want to like get them on my hook right now. But I knew that this one, I was going to make another one of these tops. So I just got in on that and kept working on it until I fell asleep. So full disclosure, this yarn is completely sold out right now because we all love it and we just completely just attacked it. I knew that these were going to sell so, so, so quick because they're freaking adorable. Like, I don't know what it is about baby Hanks, but I'll always snag one. Even if I don't have anything in mind to create with them, I know it's going to come to me later. So I'm like, yes, go ahead. The inspiration will hit later. I just want it in hand. I did see on the insta page that there is going to be a restock of some of this and there was a poll going out for what you would like to see worked up next what pride colors you'd like to see and also on what weight I voted for more of these baby rainbow hanks because again I would like to go ahead and create more things with them but yeah make sure you go there scroll back cast your vote first and foremost and then you can even see some of the other pride fingering weight yarn that was available because there was a little variation between the hanks of yarn which I love like that's my favorite thing about hand dyed yarn every single one is a piece of art and I just yeah I love it so make sure you go ahead and check that out all right ghouls so that is all you need to know for this month's stitch and scream crochet along square again I hope that you're still having fun you're enjoying this you're coming back for the movie night and also don't forget to grab your sticker but for now that is it so have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video